The nearest hole is probably on the other side. Right, there was a shortcut on the other side of the trains that I unlocked a long time ago. And without ghosts chasing me, it shouldn't be any big deal to get over there. Okay, I finally got to the other side of the track here. It took a long time, actually. <laughs> oh, I had to go like all the way. Uh, I don't remember where I started. Just, yeah, it was a lot. Uh, there's a couple dogs over here, though, and the hole is down here. Normally, I would just avoid the dogs, of course, but with Eileen, I think I pretty much have to take him out. Whoa. What is that noise? That was some intense music, and it's weird that they weren't paying any attention to us at all. Still, though, I don't want to risk it. Do I want that ammo? Oh, I can't even take it anyway. What the fuck? Yeah, I think my apartment's becoming less safe. I might need that candle. Also, something I've noticed. Remember uh, a while ago when Henry said that the apartment feels like the air in the apartment feels heavy. I didn't actually notice anything looking different after that. I know that it seems to have make me uh, made me stop healing, but I think there's a sort of a visual effect now. It's pretty subtle, but stuff that isn't right in front of me looks a little bit hazy and blurry. Hmm. Something wants in. Spirits. A few days after Walter killed himself in his cell, several residents witnessed a long-haired man with a coat here. Through his window, Richard Braintree in 207 saw, saw the man moving something heavy and doing something in room 302. Even Sunderland, the superintendent, saw the man with the coat hanging around room 302 and confirmed there were signs of someone having been in there. July 17th. Moving something heavy. Like a body? Why are there bloody... Fucking hell, there's bloody footprints. Okay. Oh, that is so cool. Those shoes. Those shoes were right here. They were right here for, like, the entire game. And now there's bloody footprints like they've been worn for a second by a ghost. Uh, I'm getting a very bad feeling all over. Hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah, uh, the noise happens and my controller vibrates when I get over there. I think I might need to lay down a candle, assuming I can even do that in this first-person view. Oh, same, same, same. Okay. Is it blocking the way to the sink? Can I slip past the sink? No, 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 get out of the way, get out of the way! Let me try the candle. The bad feeling is getting weaker. It must be this candle. Thank God for it. Whoa, that seems to be like... I can't use this. What do you mean you can't use it? Use it! There we go. Looks like the candle was burning down, like, in a couple seconds. You wash the filthy coin with water. You got the one blah 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 coin. Yep. Maybe someone meant to write one dollar. I don't understand why it would work in that vending machine now. Was the puzzle just that Henry didn't know what it was for? Because I certainly did. It... disappeared? 
Did I even have to use the candle? Because putting it down didn't stop the effect from happening. It just said it got weaker. Maybe I would have insta-died if I didn't do it. But yeah, did you see how fast that candle was bringing down? It was like instant. Okay, well, I could use a candle over by the windows. I don't know if there's any point to that, so let me do a save state and then... Go do it, I guess? So I got one more. I'm glad I saved these. Oh, <laughs> these are weapons. <laughs> it's not there. Also, I don't need the purse anymore. I don't think I need the Lynch Street coins. No, that should be good. Yeah, what the hell? It burns down so quick, I'm also taking massive damage. There's no point in doing that, is there? Wait. It made it go away? Do you have to wait for the candle to burn up? Is that the thing? I thought the effect only lasted while it was burning. Okay. Is there any point to doing that? It might have just been to allow me to save the game in peace. Are we going to see another head fall from the... from the roof or wherever it was dropped from? Okay, so out of curiosity, let's see how this works. Um, if I just, like, go to the save point, am I just gonna die, or...? No, I can do it. Like, I'll take... Why is it on slot two? Why is it on memory card slot two? Weird. So, before, I think I took damage when I stayed in this, like, weird effect for a while, but... Hmm... Doesn't seem necessary. I can just save. <laughs> it even says return from Subway World second time. Yeah, yeah, I don't have to, but you know what? Like, this is the only relatively safe spot that I have, my damn apartment. It doesn't even heal me anymore, but still. I think I want to keep this fucking evil out, because maybe the next time I come in here, it's not just going to be windows rattling. Maybe ghosts will actively be in here. So is it when the candle finishes burning that it goes away? That is such a ridiculously fast candle. Yeah. Okay, I didn't know that was how it worked. See, I pictured, like, maybe... Now, you can definitely use the candle in the other world, because I accidentally used that one the first time. I didn't see how fast it burned down in that other world, because I just immediately loaded a game. But I was picturing it being basically the same effect as the medallion, except not on you, instead it's in the world. So I was thinking if you needed to like block a ghost from being able to go through a hallway or something, although I guess ghosts can go through walls, but if, maybe if you needed to like stay in one place for a while, and you were being attacked by ghosts that kept coming to you, you could like put that down and be safe in that immediate area. Especially for something like maybe a, a boss fight or something, that's what I was picturing it for, but... I guess it's not really for that. Yeah, I feel a lot better about having gotten rid of that, even though I didn't strictly need to. Okay. Yeah, let's go back. Wait. What's my health at? How do you view your health? Because I, I got hurt quite a bit when I was trying to wash the coin a little bit too fast. I should probably use one of these. I'll just do a save state to make sure I don't waste it. Uh, Looks like I wasted it. I guess I don't need one then. I'm getting the uncomfortable feeling that they're turning Eileen into some sort of weird fetish slash 
joke. Like, they're walking around in a dress and heels, and their only weapons so far are their handbag or a riding crop. Okay, they've just been hurt, and one of their arms is, I guess, broken or, you know, kind of in a cast or something like that, so they can only use one arm. But I'm pretty sure they'd still be able to use, like, the aluminum bat, the box cutter, you know, like, pretty much anything that I have. Other than, I guess, the axe and the middle pipe might be a little bit too heavy, I don't know. The more I think of it, it's not just ridiculous, it's actually, like, bad. Anyway, let's get a tasty snack. This came out of the vending machine. <laughs> what is this? Murder scene key. Thanks. The tag on it says murder scene. I guess, uh... The murder scene upstairs? Cynthia's? Oh no. How do I get back to the other side? Are you supposed to be able to use a coin on it on this end? Because I put my coin away thinking I wouldn't need it anymore. I thought you'd only need the coin to enter the place where the subway would be, not to leave it. It doesn't mention the coin though, so maybe you're not supposed to do that, and if you're not, then... Where am I supposed to go? Whoa, there's another Saint Medallion on the floor here, in one of the trains. Oh, now I'm completely full on objects again, but still. With all the ghosts we've been having lately, that makes me feel a lot better. Well, I'm going to assume that I don't need the coins again, I just need to get back up on the other side a different way. And I don't remember what the rest of this place looks like, and things seem to be different, so... I've just gone back to the other side. Um, the opposite side from the vending machine, and let's just go up and see where it leads. Oh, the med kit. Do I have space? I don't. Okay, well, you know what? I'll just drink this. That's fine. I needed a, bit, a little bit of health anyway. Okay, went back and put away a couple things. Also grabbed the Lynch Street coins just in case I need them. I'm still going to hope that I don't. Only place I can think of to go next that doesn't involve trying to go back the way I went before with the coins is to go down here. I don't actually remember where this leads. Oh. Oh, I was supposed to. I can't use a ladder with my arm like this. Oh. Whoa, this place is different. Ghosts. Should I go up the other side? I guess. I forgot where that takes me. It's unlocked. Oh! I finally have a friggin' shortcut across this place. Thank God. That's amazing, actually. Ooh, another candle! I'm definitely not using that unless I absolutely have to because I want to save it for my apartment. There's so many items. Stop giving me items. Whoa. Huh? How well is that medallion working? Like, it does repel them, but it doesn't make them unable to do damage to you. They still sorta pursue you, kinda? And if they get close to you, they can still hit you. Whoa. Oh. Just another ghost. I thought it was something else. There's the worm. Hey. Should 
Should I try to hit it or something? It's probably gonna eat me. I hit it a million times at the beginning of the game and that did nothing, so... Don't see any reason this would do anything. Wait. It stopped making noise. Did that do something? It did. It stopped flopping around and it stopped making noise. I don't think I killed it though. I mean, look at it. The whole thing looks like it's alive and moving and undulating. But it did something. Is it coming back alive? Oh, it is. It only works temporarily. Weird. Ooh, let's see if there's like another putter in here. We've got on every single seat. Uh, oh, I guess not. Uh, there's a handle missing from this projection. It should act as a key. Oh, right. Oh, I think I could move this train car if only I had a train handle. I can see the light coming from the side of the tunnel through the driver's seat window. Okay, so maybe it's actually going to be something I need to do. Maybe I come back here. Wait, 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 wait. This is open. No, it goes nowhere, though. God, I think the work that they did with those ghosts, the way they move... It's just brilliant. The way they move is so otherworldly and creepy and ghost-like and sort of like they're a weird marionette puppet being dragged around. Even though I know I'm fairly safe with the medallion, just look at them coming in the distance. Look at that. Ugh. Bad. It's real bad. Um, we got the hole and we got the escalator. Oh, the escalator up! No, that's the horrible one! Where I gotta dodge those things in the wall. Maybe it's gotten better in the meantime. Is there any reason for me to go back to my room? Um, I could dump. I could, yeah, let's let's dump a couple things, actually. I'm like 99% sure that I don't need the coins now. Okay, let's see where the escalator takes us. Oh, we're gonna have to do this again. Shit. Uh, fuck. Seems like there's less of them this time. Doggies? Doggies. Don't have to kill them though, Eileen's not with me. There's something at the end here though. Hey doggy. Health drink. Yeah, let's take it. I'm stockpiling this stuff. Hey doggy. Okay, that's a comforting noise. Not really. This was Cynthia's. Take Cynthia's commuter ticket? Yes. 
Commuter ticket for the subways King Street and Lynch Street lines can be used multiple times. So what is that going to allow me to do that I couldn't do before? I didn't have a coin that would allow me to get to this side that I'm currently on. My coin was only for the other side. This one's going to work for both sides, but why does that matter? Maybe it's just a convenience thing and I'm going to have to come back here to both these places. And this allows me to skip going the long way to get over to this side. Cynthia left all this behind. Murder scene key. What the hell am I gonna find here? Why would I want to come back here? Is that a spoon? What's a train handle doing here? Look like a spoon, but I could see it being a train handle. Okay. Handle from the King Street Line train. It's like a key needed to run the train. I know exactly where that goes. Can't use this here. Can I not go this way, or...? Oh, there we go. Sorry, Cynthia. Okay, I need to, I guess, dump a couple things off at the apartment, and I also need to go get Eileen. Yeah, that'll... Mm. Hmm. That's actually going to be pretty annoying to go get Eileen now that I think about it. I've opened up the shortcuts, so getting to them is going to be easy. But to get them back, because of their arm, they're going to have to go through the whole train thing again. Alright. Took a long time, but managed to get back here and went back to the room and dumped an item. I think a health drink or something like that. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return... We're going to head to the train and stick the handle in and go somewhere. <laughs>